Welcome back. We are here on ETO looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, March 16, 2021. So we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we did rally from the 20 exponential. We didn't even get close to the 20 and then we rallied. We did go all the way down up towards 91.97 and then broke down again. So at this current stage, uh, it looks like we are about to test at least the top of this range and the top of the bullish band before going towards the 200 moving average. That is what it looks like. We rallied, broke down, and then we are going to rally yet again. And that will basically create a lower high here and could send this above the 200 moving average given enough time. So technically, they are either bullish or flat at this current stage. But if we manage to break above the 200 moving average, that could send this significantly higher. And that will have a very catastrophic consequences for um, commodities, precious metals and, and so on. So there's some negative correlation between those things. So pay attention to the US dollar index. So oil. So oil did fall towards, uh, give or take, this was down at the 64.27 before rallying again. Rallying again. So we are still lower than, than uh, on Friday, but uh, barely. At this current stage, uh, it is fairly, it is basically just hanging here. I would not say if we, it's likely that we'll fall towards the 20 exponential. If we do, then it has a bounce from that point uh, the last few months all the way back to November so that should be an expectation that uh, going back to the 20 exponential will have an additional bounce so we're getting very close to 70 and uh, we have been on this massive run here all the way back in the uh, big end of uh, October when we hit roughly 33 dollars we have been just rallying within this channel break towards the 20 exponential, have been buying opportunities. And uh, at this current stage, we are about to run out of steam and it looks like we're heading back towards the 20. If that breaks, then the 50 is down here at uh, around uh, 70, uh, 57, uh, 48. Technically, New Year's, they are either flat or bearish at this point. So yes, it is, it is just a waiting game to see where this technically goes. So let's look at natural gas. So natural gas hit the 200 moving average down here in the, the daily chart. So if you look at the weekly chart for, for natural gas, this could go even lower. So this could go towards the 50 moving average here in the daily chart, which is at 2.4. So that would actually mean that we'll break the 200 moving average here and head a little bit lower, actually significantly lower from here. But the, the, Weekly chart does not look really nice, good for 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 natural gas, but we have tested the 200 moving average in the daily chart in the past. We saw it down here when we gapped down and tested it, and then we rallied all the way to, to the top of the bullish band. So it's going to be interesting to see because we did break the 200 moving average and then rallied and ended right at the 200 moving average, trading at 2.50, 2.517. Uh, zero at this current stage technical indicators are very bearish for uh, natural gas so rallies towards the 20 exponential or the 50 those will most likely be sold into so let's look at copper so copper um, still bouncing off the 20 exponential on the in the middle of the bullish band as well the 20 moving average um yes there's not a lot about to say about this. It is just continuing to rally at this current stage. It looks like it's going to test these previous highs here at the 4.2 before heading to the 4.3. A takeout for of 4.3 will lead this to 4.5. Taking indicators are all uh, rallying to the upside. There's still move, room here to the upside in the RSI. And so, yes, this just continues. Pullbacks towards the 20 uh, continue to be bought into. So let's look at gold. Yes, so gold has made its move to the 20 exponential. And um, I just think that we're just going to see more of the same. We have seen this rally up towards 20, breakdown, rally, breakdown, and then just continue 
in this fashion. But break above the 20 exponential opens the door to the 50 at around um, 1806. But that would be a massive move to the upside. Just don't really see that happening at this current stage. We could stay around here for a while but, uh, but and could also break above the 20. But I think we'll roll over here and head back towards the downside. Uh, to uh, give or take 1675 if that breaks then that opens the door to 1650 and then all the way down to 600 uh, 1600 and 1500 technical indicators they are fairly bullish at this point we're still in the downtrend we're still only zero here in the macd but we are crossing the signal line so we are rallying in this uh, downtrend so let's look at silver So silver has rallied and up towards the 20 exponential and uh, the last time we did that we broke down quite heavily. So we'll see basically tomorrow what basically happens if we manage to break above the 20 and the 50 that could open the door to the previous high zero at the top of the bullish band of $28. However, if gold uh, breaks down then this will most likely follow. The support will most likely be found here at $24.8 and then all the way down towards the 200 moving average at $24.22. Technical indicators are either bearish or are slowly turning around for silver. So let's look at platinum. Yes, so platinum has rallied above the 20 uh, moving average here in the middle of the Bollinger Band. Technical indicators, they are all turning around. So it looks like we are, we this was basically the bottom and we are now heading towards the top of the Bollinger Band. If we break down from here, the 20 and the 50 and the bottom of the Bollinger Band will offer quite a lot of support. So let's look at pallium. So Pallium uh, continues to rally, as I said yesterday, it was more likely that we would see this rally to the upside as we have bounced from the 200 moving average. This is trading of the highs of 2.5, the very lows here at 2.2, and then the 200 moving average has also offered quite a lot of support. So we did break down towards the 200 moving average in last week, and now we're heading back towards the top of the bullish band here, roughly 2.4. And we could also overstretch like we have done in the past towards the 2.5. Um, however, I would only trade this at the very top or at the very bottom in order to minimize risk and maximize reward. So let's look at aluminium. So aluminium has uh, made a massive move to the upside. We touched the top of the Bollinger Band before pulling back quite significantly. Trading at the 22.00, technical indicators, they are all turning around for aluminium. However, we have tried this game several times in the past. Getting close to the uh, to the up top of the bullish band has had this market co completely collapse towards the middle of the bullish band or even towards that 50 moving average. But recently, to the middle of the bullish band has offered quite a lot of support. So buying it here, very risky wait for pullbacks towards the middle before buying into this so let's look at nickel and as you can see we still are just hovering here at the bottom so we had this massive fall towards the downside I uh, can't remember how many percent this one but it was massive move to the downside uh, technical indicators are either flat or slowly turning around but we'll probably run into the 20 exponential and be sold into if we rally from here 28 uh, 200 moving average will also offer quite a lot of uh, support so we're basically just trading sideways until we get into a corner here well rather we'll break to the downside or break to the upside so let's look at sugar So sugar is still trading underneath the 50 moving average. We have not managed to break above that. And as long as that is the case, this could tumble towards the bottom at 0 0.1514 or even that 200 moving average all the way down here at 0 0.1394. Technical indicators are either flat or bearish. So it does not look very good for sugar at this current stage. Break above the 50 and the 4 and the 20 exponential opens the door to the middle of the bullish band at 0 0.1614. 1671. So let's look at cotton. 
So cotton did break down today and pull back a little bit. We're still trading on the, the 20 exponential. Technical indicators there are, well, basically all over the place. CCI is very bearish, RSI is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, and the uh, MACD is bearish at this current stage. So a break towards the 50 and a turn around there, that is a, uh, probably the uh, where buyers will come in and push this to the upside. Break above uh, below the 50 opens the door to 0.8. And break above the middle of the bullish band opens the door to the top here at 0 0.9366. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa has uh, broken down yet again. And I'll say this uh, basically every single day while I do this analysis. We're trading at the top 2.8, a bottom here at 2.2. And then the middle of 2.6 and the bottom here in the middle of the 2.37. And right at the moment, we have been trading forever basically in this range. It has just been, well, um, basically untradable. There is, we were just been going sideways and I couldn't be bothered trading this whatsoever. So let's look at wheat. So we did find support at the bottom of the bullish band, and that is getting uh, fairly interesting. This is also where we have previous found uh, support. If we write it up like this, we have previous found support in this area. We can see how often we have, have ticked this uh, price level uh, and rallied. So it may well be that we'll rally from here towards the 20 or the 50, break above that, opens the door to these highs at 677. Technical indicators are still very bearish, like the MACD, Stochastic, and the uh, RSI, but the sort of CCI is slowly turning around here. So getting past zero, heading towards uh, 100 and positive, that should be a very uh, good signal that we are going to the upside. Break below these levels here. That is a tile of wave all the way down towards the 200 moving average. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over on Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.